Hey, it's me, your boy Boink. Um, I just wanted to do a video on general tips and tricks and how to play Warframe proficiently. And then I thought I might go into like different episodes with characters, say how to play this character proficiently, what to use, how to set up, where to go, where to farm, all that sort of things. <clears throat> so in this one, I just go through tips and tricks and how to get the most out of Warframe and how to get you know a better sense of getting your power quickly so you can farm stuff easily so the first thing I'll start off with is mods basically when uh, you look at overframe or other mods uh, other mod sites you can see that they always have like prime flow prime continuity prime this the umbrals the thing you know everything that is just like really hard to get when you're starting out the game you, know, you just don't need that at the moment. Yes, it'll, you'll be stronger with these mods, but you don't need that. I mean, like, this character, I've not formed yet, so I've just leveled to 30. And you can see, like, probably when I when I looked at Overframe, I could see, like, Prime Continuity in there, Prime Intensify, probably the Umbral Vitality, stuff like that. You know, you just don't need that at the, at the beginning. Just go through and put the normal mods in, and then you'll have a better time setting your character up and, and actually getting some power out of them yeah it's not going to be the best but you'll get you know you get the right play style out of this before you can then make them more powerful if you can look at it like other games if i mean if you play world of warcraft or something like that it's just like getting a, an extra bit of gear on that makes you that you know that two percent stronger but that, that that's how i see it anyway but they um yeah, so as you go through and former, you could then decide, oh, I want, you know, Umbral Vitality in there and Umbral Intensify. But, you know, then I former, which ones do I former? I'd former the ones that are not it and the higher ones. And then it give me enough points to put in the Umbrals. So that's what I'll probably go through and do with this one later on. But, um, yeah, so that's, that's what I would say. And then the weapons... I'd say if you're starting out, you don't need, you know, the Brumba, the Brumma. Yeah, that is the, definitely the best bow in the game. It's very, very good, but hard to get. And it took me probably 10 or 15 liches in a row. Just like deleting them, getting a new one, deleting them, getting a new one. Just to make sure it drops the Brumma. And it's uh, very hard. This gun, probably my favorite in leveling. Very easy to get. I got that from linking my account with uh, Epic Games. I think you can still do it. So I would get on and do that and you get a free gun. That's free potatoed as well, which is very good. And if you want to know what the potatoes are, um, these are potatoes because they look quite like a potato. So I'll get in and get that for the... Uh, guns the detron very powerful gun but if you can farm the new stuff get the letrum that is a very nice gun to get especially if you unlock all the different challenges you can get um you know some very good um, proficiency on that as for the weapons yeah chrono prime is probably your best bet on this is very good or even the predos i do like playing with that that is very very strong but the heat swords are very good, ether daggers are good, but the dual ether, probably my favourite in levelling and even with steel path. This baby is absolute a stonker in cricket stuff, you don't need this, it's just nice if you've got a ribbon. And uh, just have, you know, these, uh, they're called wind up mods, so the more you do, the more happens, you know, so... You get in your combo, you get more status chance. You get in a million damage per status hitting it. With this condition overload, very good to have your pet or senator doing melee, uh, doing um, status types effects. So you have, you know, frost, uh, toxin, and heat and electricity all on your your bot. So that's constantly hitting your target, and that's doubling your you know that's affecting your damage from your swords on that target which makes it very very good so as you can see they're all just you know a bit of 
uh, wind up stuff just to make these you know stonking as soon as you start hitting one person and then go through and then you'll be shredding everything just keep the momentum up if you stop then you have to start again and it's like working your way up on one person and then keeping that momentum going and going through so it's really good to have on a character like Scalibur who's really quick at getting to characters or even Wukong who's very fast or Neza as well has got really good speed to have these on and you'll you'll whip through steel path very 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 easily how to get steel path I can hear some of you say that is very simple that's basically you go through and complete every single node on the map once so every single like every single one on earth Blue every single map, every single node, every single node. And when you've done that, you'll unlock still path by going to visit Teshin. And it'll look like this. You get a little change here. And then, as you can see, I haven't done a lot on the still path. I'm just a month into it. I'm stuck here. It's a boss fight. It's very hard. And I've cleared some of this map. But yeah, that's how you get to still path. Uh, other game things oh farming rep if you go here you see these these basically the main ones work by wearing one of these sigils on your character and then that will in turn give you rep with them so you buy one of these with rep and you uh, stick that on your chest and then or your back or on your character somewhere and you'll start gaining rep and that's the easiest way to do these ones. The worst one out of these is probably, if I go back, I need to go up here. This one. It's the hardest one to grind out. I don't like his voice, but yeah, <laughs> the, uh, the hardest one to grind out. What I generally do, uh, if you've got Steel Path unlocked, I go to Steel Path, go to Earth, Cetus alone, fly above everything get your scanner out and scan everything you see it's better at night because then you get the um the eidolons and the eidolon laws they give you lots and lots and lots of rep and it takes you like five minutes to get 25k rep easy peasy i've got a video on that if you look at my channel i'll link it in the um, description just so you can see how to do that proficiently and get that done uh what to farm like when you're starting out I would say go to this table and do all these missions do as much as you can you want to complete um, as many as these you can you'll find one of them is to do I can't remember which one it is but it's to do with getting uh, Umbra Excalibur or Excalibur Umbra if you get him you get the Umbra mods for free which makes you know mods in weapons and mods in your uh, character very strong, but you do need that you know they cost a lot, but so you do need some um, umbra formers to to really put those in, unless you've got everything else formed apart from two slots, so you can put the umbra mods in. So they are very costly, but they're one of the easiest ways to get some powerful mods, and you'll use these. As I've got these in other characters just to make those really stronger and make them hit harder but yeah go for the story and do all this stuff once you've got it all completed you'll have a lot of frames and a lot of um, a lot of uh, blueprints and mods and stuff that you'll get from just playing and doing that stuff if you want to get money once you've unlocked your um, shoot, I've decided if you think once you've unlocked your thing, there is a if I can find a damn thing, the ticker, which I'm going to be an absolute noob and forget exactly where it is because I've not done this in a while. Is it on five us? No. Anyway, there's a thing called the ticker, which is a mish the index. There you go. There it is, index. You want to do the index? You do this. 
do this as you can. It's high risk. You invest 50 and you get 200 out. If you've got a buff that does credit blessing. Oh, I have got one. I was just in a relay. And you just sit there in AFK in a relay. You'll get all these different buffs, which is pretty cool. You invest this and you get a loadout. If you've got uh, credit buffs, these do multiply. These do multiply. So it's really good. If you don't feel confident at doing this, start low. See once you how to get the game and how to do it proficiently. And when you have got that, you just basically got to pick up these kill people, pick up their little coin they drop, stick it in the other end, and uh, you score. And basically, you got to score more than the other people. So um, yeah, so uh, the high risk one is definitely the best way of farming cash, which I need to do because I am absolutely skint at the moment because I've been upgrading mods skint uh, what frames to farm the best frames I found depends on really your playstyle do you like shooting do you like the uh, sword play if you like sword play it has got to be umbra or normal or Excalibur normal he is very good at sword play. He's very fast. He can drop stuff. His uh, number two is very good. He is definitely the best sword fighting dude there's out there. When you can get Wukong and then upgrade him to Prime, he's very good for solo play. He's got a special ability that splits him into two. And then, you know, he'll have the gun and you have the sword. Or if you start shooting, he'll have the sword and you'll have the gun. It's very good for so solo play. Uh, starting off you know get frost sarin very good high dps on sarin she has got some very good dps if you haven't heard about sarin then she's the one i've spent a lot of time getting umbral mods in here and prime flow just to make her pop as you can see i have not upgraded these because they are very expensive to go up if you go to mods i'll show you how expensive these things are I need 20k endo and nearly a million credits just to upgrade that to the fullest. So, not at the moment. <laughs> when I uh, progress through and I'm stock grinding stuff. Uh, how to farm frames, you say? Oh, wrong way. When you upgrade your ship, you get this little beauty. And then you go through relics. And you can see that these drop. Oh, he drops Harrow Prime. So you do this. You've got an upgrade system which you can spend the little uh, void traces on. I've just farmed Harrow. So um, I'm out of traces. But you can see he's a silver. So you'd upgrade that to make silver the best chance to, uh, to maintain that. Uh, so yeah, you just go up here and you type out who do you want. I haven't got any Saren, I know that, but I've got Harrow. And that will list all the, the relics you need. Once you find out which relics you need, it's best to write these down and what part they drop. And if you need that part, then go to your map. You can do this quickly here, navigation. And it's this little icon. And then you find the corresponding fissure that you need. And off you go. These are just little missions to get. Also, if you uh, do a relic and there's something you've already got, but it's worth 100 ducats when you hover over it, normally you've got a silver or a gold highlighter on it, and you've already got it, just get another one, because then when Barrow comes to town, he is currently on Saturn. When he comes to town, uh, always... Go and see him and visit him and you can sell your um, unneeded relic points I'll show you that to buy other things from Barrow and he can give you upgrades to weapons upgrades to mods like different stuff different senate uh, droids he's got at the moment he's got a good droid which I just brought and leveled which is just the, um, the shade If we go through you can't fast travel to Barrow which is very annoying but you just go through 
and he's here. He's normally surrounded by people. Have a look at him and he sees these ducats. You see he's got different mods. He's got the shade which is a senator bot and I brought continuity this week as well. It's really good. He comes like once a month and he does different stuff and different mods and stuff that you can get you know cheaply and for things if you want to sell your stuff you look for the other vendor normally full of people as well good good point you go there and then it's all the um prime parts you don't need and you click on them and sell them i'm not going to sell these obviously because i am currently building these frames i literally just sold up a load of stuff to get some ducats and spent them all so uh, yeah you just see them so if you want to farm those just do a load of relic runs and pick up the gear and then you'll um uh, get the currency to to buy that stuff the best place to afk if you're like sorting out your character is going to the navigation just sit here you don't have to type anything or ask for anything but you'll get buffed randomly buffed and what this is is these buffs up here like I've got a shield blessing a credit blessing these ones these ones are paid ones I brought a pack recently and uh, they gave me these like colored ones are the paid buffs and the non-colored ones are the free buffs that you can get basically any level 30 player gets the ability to buff people at relays so if you afk in a relay so in the relay you can do your equipment so if you're sorting out a character just come to the relay afk there for a little bit sort out your character you can go through and check all these different bits make sure you've got the right mods there make sure you've got the right weapons and the right different bits and bobs and then you'll get a buff but you know if they what don't buff you you can just type in here and normally say something really nice like saying something like can a god please buff me buff There you go. Just be polite in this game. That always helps. If you're interacting with other players, please be polite. It is very nice to be polite. If you're not, then it's just mean. You know, so, you know, just like, like especially things like if you're going to leave um, a game type or something like that. And it's uh, like a timed one. Like uh, if we go to navigation or oh, we're, at, we're at navigation, aren't we? If you go to here and do onslaught. Like one of these onslaughts and you're with a group of four people and like to get out of this you don't go into the portal when it when it spawns and if you're not telling people you're going out you could leave them in the, alone and then they get a negative stat on their their game type because they let quit this game because everybody left them without saying a single word that's very rude i find that's very rude being english i, I of course i find that rude and just it's just a polite word like yeah, wherever I'm leaving that and there are people playing, I say I'm leaving after this one, or you know, just generally being nice, you know. Or if you you've got a problem with someone playing and they're not doing something, people will respond better to you saying, "Hey, dude, did you know you can do this?" Or "Hey, dude, this is how you do this." Or "Are you are you stuck? Do you need some help?" Just asking them that instead of going, "You got to do this, you noob," you know that is so rude. You know, and people respond to that better and they won't just quit out and they won't give you negative stats and stuff like that. It's just, just you know, playing a game like this, generally you'll find people respond better to politeness. Uh, but other than that, uh, pay to play. I didn't get a buff today, did I? Well, I've got all the buffs anyways, but um, yeah, I didn't get a buff. Paying to play. Oh, there you go. You say it and there you go. Drop chance. And it's polite just to push F. And you thank them. And you type in here. Yeah, so uh, pay to play. Uh, for the first couple of years I played this game, I didn't spend a penny. And all I did was um, work through every single story that there was and grind all the materials to get frames and uh, look into where I could find frames and farm the normal frames so the normal frames the best place to look at that is the warframe wiki just google warframe wiki and that will have 
everything that you need. It will say if you Google, Google in what material you need, you just type that in. It will show you where it is. You go to the right map, and uh, that will take you into the uh, tell you where to go to farm that resource and generally what to use to farm that resource. Or if you say you want to farm Excalibur, you go onto that, type in Excalibur, have a look, and it will have the drop locations of where to get that frame primed frames you can't farm like that you have to farm those doing relics which I've already shown you how to do and uh, weapons are exactly the same if you want to know how to get those anything with prime in the name is a relic anything that's not got prime in the name is either purchased from a vendor around like say on earth there's a vendor on earth that will do weapons and then on different planets there's vendors that do weapons or there's a game type that drops that specific weapon best place to look at this is the warframe wiki and then you could always use the market and buy other things the things that i would buy uh you know if you've got a level a load of stuff maybe a booster but then wait for the free weekends you can get that i just had like six frames to level so i thought i just get a booster and then I can boost everything. A former, if you're desperate for former, but then if you're doing relic runs, you should be getting former from the relics because they have, you know, a, an option in that. Uh, to do with relics, there's an app called Aleka Frame, and basically what this does is uh, every time you do a relic and the drop chance come up, it tells you have you got this, have you built this. Do you need this? Have you crafted this? And it quickly shows which on each part what, what you've got. I'll show that in another video uh, what you've got. And then that will um, help you remember what you got. Because there is a thousands and thousands and thousands of parts and pieces and bits and bobs that you need to collect. And this will show you if you've got it before and if you haven't and how much it's worth. So, in, so instead of hovering over each one and clicking them because you only got a certain amount of time this has all that information clearly in boxes underneath it and then you just click the one you want and there you go and I'll do a uh, video on that um, on that thing and how to get it and everything you basically get it through uh, Jesus I've forgotten the name of everything at the moment it's Overwolf there's an app called Overwolf you get different uh, mods for games in Overwatch, Overwolf, and this is a pretty good one. Oh, now I think that's a lot that we've gone through. I've got videos already on how to play the Railjack and how to do missions in Railjack, so I won't need to do that. Um, a Hemleth, ah, the Hemleth. This little monster, when you unlock this dude, he's very, 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 very good. Um, you unlock this by doing stuff in the story. Once you get him unlocked, you can do different things. I've fully upgraded my Hemleth, so that's why I've got a different screen than probably most of you. You get invigorations, which are pretty good. To get the invigorations, when you unlock your Hemleth and get max rep with Deimos, you go to the sun and pick up this little mod which gives you invigorations install that and then every seven days on a Sunday this resets you it'll choose three random frames and you can give them power basically so I can get some primary damage and f ability efficiency that's really nice on Oberon but I haven't got Oberon yet so yeah nice stuff I'm currently when you subdue like when you get a frame the best thing I do is like say I farm Excalibur. I've got Excalibur I'm playing him, but then I've just farmed out Excalibur Umbra. Excalibur then becomes a bit useless. So then you just take him here to your Hemleth and you can sub sub subsume him. What that does is put a mod inside puts the frame over here. And uh, starts eating him. As you can see, I'm eating Vorban because I've currently got Vorban Prime uh, building. So, um, yeah, I'll put a little flower. These are all the frames I've put in. You can see you get a flower per frame, and I've subsumed a lot of frames. These are just all the normal. You can't subsume Prime frames, only the normal versions of them. And that will give you, like, um, 
one of their abilities in your um, in your thing to put on so you can say say if I wanted uh, Eclipse I'd have to have all these different bar ticks so I'd have to feed them up and then I could you infuse the ability onto one of the slots if I feed him up on was it this one I think what have you got yeah Just feed him up a bit oh I'm running low Oh, biotics. Oh, my God. Where's biotics there? No? There. This is always the hardest one to do, biotics. Normally, plants are very good. There. So, I can infuse that ability and it say, oh, which one do I want to get rid of? Oh, I say, Mizma. I don't use that that much. So, you choose that one, confirm. And then you can say what configuration I want it on. And then you say, yes, this configuration and it will be on configuration B so when you use configuration A I'll show you what that means it won't be on A but it will be on B so we confirm that on B it infuses that ability on her so then if I go to my now equipment and look at things see on configuration A I've not got that ability to show here. Config B. I have that ability. So then I can set her up, use config B, and I'll have Eclipse. That's basically that. Um, other than that, there's really not much else I can go through. If there's something you want to um, want me to run down and go through, just put it in the comment section. I'll happily go through that for you. Um, other than that what frames do you want to see doing I will run through some of my favorite frames first and then I'll go through the ones I don't really play a lot but uh, I know how to, to play proficiently and how to get the most out of this frame I mean the best tip I can say about learning a frame is um, go into the frame if I may say, operator, your chosen warframe oh, suits go to abilities uh, push the wrong button and this tells you everything about the ability. It gives you all the stats and all the breakdown and all the abilities and what you can and can't do. And the tips, very good to see the tips. You can go just push tab and it'll go for the different tips of how to play this character. This is generally what I do to learn. And then I play and then adapt my play style to the, how the tips work and how I can, you know, make, you know, the best out of it. You know, everything in Warframe is very, very good at showing you what what's what basically everything has got just you know a big hop over this is your operator ability I can actually show you that actually how to sort out your operator but everything in Warframe has got if you hover over it it just tells you I've seen many streamers go I wish they had a, a tip section I wish they told you how to use this use this bow and how to do this other stuff and how to do all this you know and it's just like dude it's all there just have a look look this tells you all the information here how to use this bow all the different stats you need any weapon all the different stuff you know then maybe they haven't got a lot it tells you here look go tab and see all these tips very easy but then operator stuff let's go for the operator uh, let's have a look this is how to select from drifter to normal that's if you unlock the drifter that is a spoiler but it's been months now so yeah there's a drifter it's just an older version of what you are so then you can go appearance and go through and run down all the different stuff but the most thing you want to know is focus what focus school are you using the best one I'd say if you're using blades and you like using blades that's your preferred stats you don't like shooting that much but you love to use blades Naramon's your boy this has some very good melee counter stuff and you know extra 
affinity all that sort of thing just for it's good for leveling and it's good for using blades and uh i was really late to unlock this so um you know it was very very silly of me really to, to not unlock that i started with maraudai just because it gave you damage increases like base damage on everything which is really good but um but yeah start that narrowmon if you like blades maraudai if you like uh shooting and all the other ones give you different abilities just have a look at the middle one this this one's the first one you unlock and then you can go out to the different ones and just see how they work within your playstyle and get the best one for you but once you unlock one to the max then you can start unlocking all the other ones and how you get all this stuff is um on your weapons uh, on your frames and weapons you go into it go actions and then you put a lens on it and this says while using this weapon you'll unlock affinity for this school type so you can see that's doing Zenuric and my uh, bow is doing Marauder and that's where you put the lenses on and then that starts to unlock it how to get some of these lenses if you go to earth and do some of the bounties you'll get some lenses and then you can start earning the affinity towards that school it's very random how you get them i mean you can uh buy some but to be fair for just from playing you get a load of lenses also warframe are very nice that if you watch their twitch show they give you bags or drops twitch drops and they can be anything from uh, lenses to weapons to skins to rep it's like anything basically that can help you gain a little bit from the game so that's every i believe every thursday every thursday evening in the uk they have a twitch drop just look them up warframe twitch have a look them look them up on there and it'll show you their schedule and uh, set that reminder watch the trip watch the stream and you can see that generally i have this on on my other screen or in the background and just collecting the drops they do uh one drop but you can get it twice in each stream they're 45 minutes each and the stream lasts for uh, an hour and a half or something and you can get just two or hour and 20 minutes whatever it is but you can only normally get just two if you're quick in the stream uh once they did give away a frame so um yeah very good to to watch them and anything they give you if they give you a weapon or a frame that always comes potatoed and with a slot it's very very important to know that you've got these slots uh, if I go to inventory and then go to weapons at the bottom I've got one open slot so I can add one weapon to my to my uh, thing and then you know then I've, I can't add any more weapons so then how would I get this you have to buy a slot that's the only horrible thing is you have to buy slots which is a bit annoying but you can also get slots from doing nightwave missions nightwave she opens up from one of the quests and then you get these different yeah. things you can go through and uh the different rewards you know you get here you get a thing but then you get some weapon slots at rank three and all you do is do these challenges you rank up and it unlocks all these for you and you get all sorts of different things very good to uh start getting you stuff and these change every three or four months they uh put a different night wave in sadly it's not a story one it's nora's mixed volume when they're this it's just like basically she gives you stuff there's no story behind it but before there was um like a very good story i remember the the ice one where you had to kill these ice people to get a special different currency and then um, when you unlock the different story parts you had to do this like detective work it was very good fun very good fun but then you can see she offers some stuff for the credits as well you can buy a frame here you can buy cosmetics you can buy weapons or skins to weapons and some mods very good to uh, get this this still charge very good this gives you the most amount of mod space that you can in a frame so if you're struggling for mod space 
still charge will give you the most so like this L aura mod gives you seven this one gives you nine so this like the bigger the aura mods on a weapon or, or a frame or on your rail jack the more space you can fit inside it you know the more thing you know stuff you can get so if I show you that actually someone I know who's got that is a scalibur because he's my little sword boy so if he gets scalibur and go to his um, upgrade you can see he's only got one space and he's got this he's got 18 on there and that gives him 78 but if I change that to uh, physique well, I can't because I've got these mods in there. Come on, come out. Come out, come out, come out. Okay, it's not. No, it's got to be a Y. Pistol ammo in. That gives me 74, see? So if I put steel charge back in there, 78. So four more points. A whole four more points. And, uh,. Yeah, that'll give you the uh, the most out of your frame when you're starting off. But still, charge is very good for when you're using melee because yes, it makes your melee weapons smack harder. But other than that, I think the Islander video here. I've gone through a lot of stuff. Um, basically, what else do you want to know? Basically, that's uh. The only thing I go, sorry, I've been rambling on. I thought I'd do this, and it sort of ended up into uh, something a bit more. So, uh, yeah, I hope that was good, and I'll see you in the next video.